Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. This one's going to be on how to get the uh, old Quake game uh, running really well on modern computers with a uh, HD pack. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and open up your browser. And we're going to type in Mark space V Quake. And this is the website we're going to go to right here. Super simple, we're going to download the Windows zip. DirectX 9, download that to your folder. Once you do that, we're going to click on here where it says read more. We're going to download the uh, HD resolution pack. The cool thing with this package is it's really small and it does really enhance the, the way the game looks without having a, you know, a ton of uh, size. Most HD packs are really, really huge. So this one is good at 128 and it does look really good on the game. So we'll go ahead and download that. Save that to your folder. Once that's in there, we're going to go ahead and close the browser, go to the folder that has the files. Okay, and I'm going to delete these just to show you guys how I got this done. So there are the two files that we downloaded. Right click, extract to this option here. So it gives it the name of the zip file for the folder. We're going to do the same thing with the HD package extract that now in order to get this to work you're going to need the uh the commercial version of the game uh there's two files in the id one folder that you need which are these so you're going to take that folder with those two files you're going to place that inside the uh folder that has the uh quake engine in here now inside this folder you're going to need to place the files from the hd folder so we're going to go in there copy these three folders now we're going to put these three folders inside the game engine folder inside the ID one. So it's going to look like this. So once you get that done and launch it, it should show up with the HD graphics. Now for me, when I ran it stock like this, I did get a, a slight starter when I was running it and I did a little experiment and uh, put the uh, DG Voodoo software on there and it did run super smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. So you guys can have a look. We're going to go ahead and put the resolution of 1980 by 10 or 1920 by 1080 as soon as it starts up here. So it takes a few seconds to launch. So once it launches, just go ahead and hit Alt Enter to get that full screen. We're going to go in Options. Now, this is up to you. You know, you can set this to resolution to whatever you want. I'm just doing it like this for video purposes. So once you do the change up here, you want to make sure you come down here and hit apply changes or it's not going to take the change you made. So once that's done, you can see it looks pretty nice with the uh, you know, border on the bottom. Change in graphics here. Now as you can look on the demo, you see it does have a little bit of stutter. So I'm going to show you real quick. Now it may or may not do this for you. If it runs fine, then there's no need to do the uh, DG Voodoo. But I'm going to show you here the difference uh, for me. If it also happens to you, you can go ahead and do the DG Voodoo. As you can see, there is a little bit of stuttering and tearing on here. So we're going to jump into the map real quick and just run in a little bit in there. And I'll show you the difference. So as you can see, the textures do look really nice. All right, but as you can see, there is a little bit of stutter on there. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and close this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the DG Voodoo in there. And we should see an improvement in the frame rates. It's li literally gonna make it run like locked at 60 frames per second. Uh, so it's gonna look really smooth. So if you have not used DG Voodoo in the past, I will put a link in the uh, description where you can download it. So you're basically going to put, you know what, I just did put the files in the, in the folder that has the Quake engine that you downloaded. You're going to click on this little uh, backward slash. It's going to put the correct, uh, you know, path for the game in there. You're going to go to DirectX. You can play around with the memory. I always just put that for the heck of it to give it more. We're going to go down to 1920 by 1080. We're going to take off the watermark, hit uh, V-Sync, that'll it'll stop it from tearing. You're going to hit Apply. 
And then you can also do all the anti-lacing on here. I put it at 8x. Hit apply. And that's also another advantage because it's going to make it look even smoother. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now if you want, you can go back into the general tab. I like doing DirectX 12. Some computers I've noticed from people that I've talked to, it does it sometimes to mine. If you go, uh, if you have DirectX 12 on a modern computer and don't do that, you might get like pastel colors or like certain textures that just come out white. So if that happens, just go ahead by default, you know, always pick 12 on there. And then I also like to put this on here. It does give it like really tight scan lines. So we can go right here. Click on that, hit apply, okay. Now we're gonna launch the game. Before we do that, we need to go in here, MS folder, x86 folder, copy these files into the directory where the Quake is at. You're gonna launch the game through this. And again, it's gonna take a few seconds to pop up. so there we go now as you can see on the demo it's not like skipping or tearing up like before and you can see it does have like the real tight scan lines on there so to me it looks better you know you don't have to do that setting so we'll go ahead and run a real quick uh i'm gonna do a quick super speed run here super quick running smoother than before. Oh, I forgot one. So much for the speed run. <laughs> Right, so as you can see, that does one uh, runway different. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of options you can fix on here. So we'll let the game uh, start in the next level, and I'll show you the changes. So as you can see on the bottom, it has the uh, like the bigger thing where it shows you the ammunition and so forth. You can actually uh, hit a setting on that. And let's see if I can remember it here without having to search too much. Preferences. The crosshair you can pick uh, default or you can go small dot. Bobbing, I like to disable it. That all depends on you. So let's see if it's this one here. Okay, status bar. So I like to make it like transparent on the sides. So you can go like that, minimal, and then what it's going to do is going to put the settings on there and take out the extra stuff. So to me, that looks better. Again, you can set you know the settings to your preferences. But as you can see, it is running nice and smooth now. And it's still kind of like a vanilla you know experience for the game, but uh, with the added improvements of the uh, you know the HD texture on on there, so it does look way better than before. And it'll run with no issue, uh, with no issues on the modern computers. As you can see, it was super quick to set up. So hopefully, you guys can enjoy uh, playing that game if you haven't played it recently on the newer computers. And that is it for this one. And we will see you guys on the next video. Go ahead and please hit uh, either subscribe or you know thumbs up. Get me some hits on there, and we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.